So out of the box, the Kaya arm can handle about four, 31 inches from the top of your dock to the top of the water. And that's if you use the mounting bracket, which is, which is here. Um, and that's sort of out of the box without modifying things. But sometimes that's not good enough, not enough uh, distance in some applications. So there's a couple ways of, of getting some additional distance. The first way is there's an, actually a hole here and a hole here, and you can use those holes to mount that to a ladder so that you can then, if you've got a ladder, you usually mount, you're gonna need it anyway to because you can't jump, go that far. But you can mount it to the, um, you can mount it to the, to the ladder. Other opportunities you can do is just screw this to one of the piers. Many people have piers that drop down and you can screw it to a pier. But if you want to use the bracket, um, you can easily uh, re-drill the holes that are here, the mounting holes, along the mast and, uh, and get a few more, get up out to 48 inches from the top of, the, top of your dock down to the bottom, down to the top of your water. And I'm going to create a video here that shows how to uh, drill those holes and, um, and get that extra distance. I'm going to show today how you can modify the Kaya arm mast to accommodate about 48 inches from the top of your dock down to the top of your water. And what I'm going to have to do today is drill two, uh, two sets of holes, um, two holes, two additional holes for the mounting brackets and two holes for um, the screws that mount sideways or, horizon or horizontally into the dock to keep the the chi arm uh, from mass from moving and so what I've done is I've I've come down from the top about eight, eight inches I've marked one set at eight inches and one set at 12 and both sides and what I used is at the eight inch mark I used my square and I've put a little I've used my um, my pencil I've marked a line and I've marked a line and I've carefully then I've gone back and I've checked to make sure that it's right then I used my I've used a, um, a center punch the center punch, what the center punch does is it prevents drill wander. So I've marked a spot and I've given it a good tap, okay, like that, that will create a divot for me to start my drill in. And because I need to be, it has to be very much in the middle and perfectly centered, a quarter inch and perfectly centered in this flange, what I'm going to use is just an eighth inch pilot hole just to, to get that started in the right spot because when you start up with a bigger bit, sometimes that also wanders. wanders. So again, I've a marked a set that's down four inch, uh, sorry, eight inches and a set that's down 12 inches. I've then uh, used my, my square to squ uh, draw a line from the flange, across the flange on both sides. And I've checked then to make sure I've got the same distance down from the top, same distance and they're perfect. And then these ones aren't so critical, but they need to be in the center because that's where you drive the screws. But if these ones aren't perfectly centered, then when you try to attach the nuts, Okay, the, these, uh, these screws go up from the bottom and the nuts will start to interfere here. So it's very, very important that we get that, that in the center. And that's the reason for me taking some time today and using a center punch. And you can buy one of these at a Home Depot or whatever. It's pretty cheap and everybody needs one for their toolbox anyway. Uh, if you don't have one, you could use a sharp nail. Though I don't like that as much, but maybe a, sharp, a screw is a little sharper. But it's really important to get it right in the center. And again, next thing is just to start with a small bit to get a, a, a pilot hole, and then we come back with the right size bit after that. So I'll shut it off, I'll do my drilling, and I'll come back. So I'm going to demonstrate another, an alternate way of drilling holes in the mast in the precise locations where they need to be drilled um, when you order a, a dual Kaya arm package. Um, and so what it involves is using the second arm or using the sec other arm as a, as, a as a template or as a guide. So in this particular example, what I've already done is I wanted to move the mounting holes up 12 inches from the existing mounting holes. And so to do that, I've taken my tape, I've marked a mark at, at, at one foot, and then what I've done is I've used my square and I've drawn that line here. Um, and then, so what I've done is that with, this, with, the, uh, with the second arm, is I've placed it over top of the, the, um, the, the second mast precisely and see where the, and I've, I've positioned it so I can see the, um, the black line, the, the pencil line through there. And then to hold things in place, I use some clamps, okay? And so I just uh, use this clamp, this clamp here is one. Let me just. And raise the clamps there so that holds it tight. I got a second clamp. And 
And then the other thing you'll know is I put down a nice piece of, um, of uh, actually an old chi iron box so that you know we collect the shavings, we don't get in too much trouble. And the other thing is I put a, 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 just a, a, a piece of wood so that when I drill through and I plunk through, I plunk into an old piece of wood. And so it's very simple then, you can see what I've grown into. I just position myself and uh, I'll start my hole. Okay. So you can see, got my second hole drilled in the precise location. So the reason why I wanted to be, wanted to be very clear about, it's very, very important to be precise about locating these holes because this mounting bracket fits over into those holes. And more importantly, the screws, the, the, the machine screws, they come through the back and they go into here. And the issue is this nut has to fit over. And if you've drilled this hole too close to the to this part here, it won't, the nut won't go on, it'll jam. So that's why I spend a lot of time getting it right. Obviously the other part is we want the mounting bracket to be level. Um, otherwise we did in jamming issues. The other thing to think about is where are we gonna be putting the support holes? So the support holes are the ones that are below, they're for the horizontal screws that are below the mounting angle. And since you're re-drilling holes, my preference then, what you really want to do is to, when you put these uh, supporting holes, you wanna put them, they go, they go into the stringer. This one goes to the top of your dock, and this one will go into the bottom of your stringer, that, 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 supporting, be, um, that supporting beam underneath the front of your dock. And so what I like to do is to move the holes down to where they hit the, 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 the lower part of your stringer. And so what I wanna do is go and measure down, and I wanna hit the bottom third, bottom, take three quarters of the height and, and put them in there. Uh, and that's where you're going to be putting then the, um, the shims behind as well. And so we'd go remeasure them and I would just drill them the same way, even though they're less sensitive to the precise location. Yeah, you might one day want to move it down for some reason. And it's always nice to make sure we've drilled them in the right location. And it's a pretty easy way of, of, of uh, doing that, uh, having a nice uh, template there for doing that. See here, I've drilled the two holes nice, the, the two sets of holes. And I'm just going to flip over, I'm going to attach the bracket. Okay, so I just flip over and uh, got the thing started. I have to think about this. This is the downside, so this is the bracket. And I just put those uh, nicely through there. I should have, here I can do it. All right, and then what I do is I just put my, there's the nylock part down to put that down first. I just put this underneath and I just turn that on. And uh, I can get that put on, it fits nicely. And you can see the thing spins. I, didn't, I did a really good job of centering those in the hole, in the uh, mass, so there's no problem. And I have to use my 716 inch wrench. Anyway, 716 inch wrench, I'll tighten this up and then I'll mount this. Now, you know, this is an extreme case. Uh, that will give me, I said that'll give me a little more than 40, it'll give me a little bit 48 inches, 40, 49, maybe 50 inches from the top of the dock to the water. You know, many cases you don't need that. You know, you can drill it down a little bit further. Um, you know, this this would only give me, for example, you know, seven inches projecting above your dock. And I probably, so you want to get it to the right spot, but I've driven a sort of an extreme case for you today. But you saw how the, message, the, the methodology is, is to really precisely measure uh, and get those mounted in the center of the flange and make it just bring it up a little closer here so folks understand when I'm talking about the center. It's very important that if you don't, you mount these in the center, get this in the center of the flange. If you don't, these screws, okay, these nuts will jam, will interfere with this and you won't get it mounted. So again, measure twice, cut once, measure twice, drill once, use the one eighth inch force to get it, to use the, use the, um, Use the center punch to mark it nicely. Use the 1 8 inch to get it nicely centered and then follow up with your quarter inch and it'll be perfect. Okay, I thought I would just show a little bit um, the difference. So you can see that it's very important to get these holes in the center of this flange. Here's an example that I did just for illustration purposes of drilling it in the wrong spot. If I were to try and put the nut on, you know, imagine the screw coming up here the nut's going to jam against here. You're not going to get that nut on and you're actually going to try and you ruin it trying to get it on. So and if that happens to you, don't, don't sweat it too much. Just go and start all over again. Drill it down a little bit further to give yourself a little more room. You're not really weakening things that much. 
Uh, but but be careful. Measure down again. Measure properly. Use the use the thing here. Use the uh, square. Mark it off nicely. Mark it off nicely on both sides, and find the center punch and find the right center in here, and then start with that eighth inch drill, and you'll end up with a perfect job just like this one. See how? Oops. There we go. There's that side. And there's that side. It all works out. Just take your time. Mark it. Use the proper tools and you'll get it right. Thank you very much for watching today. Happy paddling.